And you know what that means. That means Owen is slacking, and that means it's also time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And I'll shoot with you guys right now. It's almost 8.40 when I'm actually shooting this video. Why? Because it's pretty much taken me all day, and I'm still doing it, to upload all of the various AJ movie reviews and verses that are going to be playing throughout the next two months. Why? Because... I leave on Wednesday, so I'm kind of almost out of time. So I'm trying to uh, adopt T's, cross the lowercase J's, get everything uh, in order. And real quick, let me show you something. For those of you that run into me in the parks, a little sneak preview of something. Guess you'll have to see what's on the back of it later. Uh, so that is, yeah, that's the new business card. Love it. Looks awesome. So uh, let's get into another Sip and Snack. I've been slacking on Sip and Snack for a while. Uh, I may actually film some Sip and Snacks, not tomorrow, but Monday, because I have all day off Monday. And Monday is our last wrestling podcast before the month of November. Because if you did not know already, I'm going to be going to Orlando. I'm pretty much going to be moving to Orlando for a month and a half. Now, granted, it's not a permanent move. Eventually, it will be a permanent move. But I'm going to uh, see what it's like to feel like a local for a month and a half. And it's really awesome. Really exciting. Very much looking forward to it. So I thought I'd film a couple sip and snacks. And you may see some very disjointed sip and snacks that I'm doing. I've got some... Like, I got knockoff sports drinks, like, kind of like knockoff Gatorade I found. I got the one we're doing today. We got some more Pop-Tarts. I mean, there's a couple of things left to be done before I lock everything away. And trust me, the sipping snacks I'm going to be doing in Orlando are going to be legendary. So, stay tuned for those. We're going to be doing Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen numerous times. Lots of desserts, lots of specialty items in the parks and outside the parks. And, uh, who knows, um... Uh, I can almost guarantee there's going to be at least one or two special guests that are going to be joining us. Let's just say it's going to be rather elite when it comes to the guest star series of Sip and Snack throughout the month of September and October. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get started. I know this is a really random pair, but I thought it made sense in my head. So first off, we're going to do a sip and a snack. And the reason why we're going to do them in reverse order is because... What I normally would do is I'd be doing the food first, then I would be doing the drink. This time, I'm actually going to do the sip first and then do the snack later because it's going to be a weird taste in my palate. Now, we've done a lot of things here on this network, and we've done a lot of drinks, obviously, a lot of Mountain Dew kickstarts, a lot of energy drinks. I know a lot of you out there love the Suro and uh, Bitter Beer Face. Yeah, even though it's not alcoholic, it might as well be when it comes to is like what the taste hits me sometimes. But now I found that sparkling water uh, was not a success last time we did. I believe it was the Dasani sparkling water in the can. Yeah, I did not like this. But I picked this up at Walmart a while back, and I'm just now getting to it. This is called Clear American Ice. It's zero calories. There are a myriad of flavors, but when it comes to me, I only found a couple that I liked. Uh, first off, we have Tropical Lemonade. See the pineapple on the front and the lemon. I think that might be a... I can't tell. There's green tea extract, six essential vitamins. Uh, it is sparkling water again, so let's see how that works. The other one is uh, black raspberry. So there's that. Show you that, zero calories. And the final one is cherry lemonade. So yeah, like I said, there's a lot of different flavors, but those are the ones I chose. I don't know how well those are going to taste with the, what I'm going to do for the snack. But we're about to find out now, aren't we? So uh, let's start with uh, the one that I think I'm going to like the least, and it's probably going to be the Tropical Lemonade. Uh, I love lemonade, obviously, you know. <laughs> it's been my profile picture since 2012 here on this network. But until just recently, it's been the profile picture until we now have the new logo, which does not have any mouse ears anymore, and eliminated the word Disney from the logo. So yeah, I'm Sir Owen now, so there you go. Still at Sir Owen Disney, still Sir Owen Disney at gmail.com. But I'm trying to so slowly but surely get people knowing the name Sir Owen instead of just Sir Owen Disney or just call me Owen because it's easier that way. But let's uh, get to this, shall we? So let's pop this open. Got a little bit of a carbonation to it. Let's see what it smells like. I smell the pineapple immediately. That's not a good sign. I have the uh, nondescript palate cleanser taster glass. I have a glass. I'm ready for ghost town. So let's see what it tastes like. 
As always, when it comes to a beverage here on the Popcast Network, I usually drink it out of a glass and then out of its container. So that's what I'm going to do to see if there's any differences. Sometimes there actually are. And let's see what we have with this one. So this is Tropical Lemonade. Okay. That's what it looks like. Looks like blue Kool-Aid. I'm sure it doesn't taste like blue Kool-Aid. See what it tastes like. I realize I don't like sparkling water, so this is going to be fun. I'm going to taste a little mango. A little mango, a little pineapple. It's got the sourness of the lemonade, like the tartness, but I can't really taste it very well in the glass. Let's see if I can do it with the, uh, get a little water so I can... See what we got here. Let's try that out of the bottle. It's not bad. I'd actually drink that. That's not bad at all. I didn't think I'd like that. That's the one I thought I'd dislike, so that gives me almost no hope for the other ones because usually the one I thought I'd dislike is the one that I dislike and then it's done. But this time the one that I thought I would dislike is the one that no, I liked it. It was weird, but I liked it. So let's put the top back on. And let's go to black raspberry. I believe it's black raspberry. Yep, black raspberry. I like I like black cherry. I like the taste of black cherry. It's one of my favorite flavors of Mountain Dew Kickstart. Um, I can't eat fruit because I'm picky, but I like the taste of fruit things. I guess it's just how it is. I mean, I, I love the taste of orange. Can't... I mean, I can drink orange juice without pulp, but I mean, I'm not going to eat an actual orange, but I can drink orange stuff, and orange is my favorite flavor when it comes to fruits. But black cherry is another one I like as well. Now, raspberry is something I've been kind of getting into, and raspberry mixed with other things is a nice little recipe. So, um, this is the black raspberry. I like this, because if you look on the back of it, it's 3% juice. Hey, it's just like juicy juice. Uh, it's got no calories, no fat, no sodium, no carbs, no sugars, no protein, and it's got 10% of vitamin D, niacin, vitamin B, and uh, biotin, and penothenic acid. So all those are 10%. So there's not much in this. Sounds like it's 24 megs of green tea extract, too, per 8 ounces. Let's see what we got here. We'll pop this open. Ooh, a lot more carbonation in this one. This one's got a kick to it. Let's see if it's tell. Oh, smells like Diamond Tap. That's not a good sign. <laughs> Um, let's see what happens. That's what it looks like. Looks like, um, <laughs> it kind of looks like wine. I'm not gonna lie, it does. So if you want to fool people that you're drinking wine sometimes and you don't drink like I don't, then eh, this stuff actually might work. I don't know if it's going to taste like wine. Probably not. I wouldn't know because I've never had wine. So there you go. Let's see what we got here. So let's try it. Oh, boy. Two ways to look at this. Always look on the bright side of life. It tastes like a melted grape popsicle. The other way to look at this is it tastes like Diamond Tap as a soda. Yeah. Not something I'd recommend. Let's see what it tastes like in the bottle. I think what I did is I convinced myself it was going to taste like Diamond Tap. And... Drinking it out of the glass, it kind of did, because a little bit more diluted, because obviously you're just pouring it directly into a glass. But drinking it directly from the container, actually I was able to get more of the melted grape popsicle taste to it. So if you left a grape popsicle in the sun for a little bit, and you know the, the puddle that forms on the concrete, on the wood surface, or wherever you have it laying, like on your windowsill, on your table... And then, of course, it gets all sticky and everything. But, I mean, if you were, to, you were to drink that, like a concentrate, and mix it with a little bit of carbonation, that's what this is. 
Not bad. Not bad at all. Great popsicle sparkling water. I like it. <laughs> so uh, the final one is the one I wasn't sure about. This is cherry lemonade. Get them closer there. So let's try it. I'm going to pour it into the glass. It's pink. Again, looks like wine. Sure, it doesn't taste like wine. It looks a little bit like pink lemonade. And then with cherry lemonade, it's kind of somewhat the same thing, but not quite, because pink versus cherry. Two different flavors. So let's try it, see what it tastes like. I smell the lemonade. Let's see what it tastes like. It's really tart. I'm realizing when I drink it out of the glass, it does not taste as good as it does when you drink it out of the bottle. I mean, I guess that's not good because, like, you want to drink this out of the bottle and maybe someone else wants some of it and then they can't have it because they don't want your germs. But if you pour it into a glass, it doesn't taste as good. I don't know. But I'm not liking the drinks when they come out of the glass. But I must finish this. A little bit of cherry aftertaste. The lemonade's still very tart. The after effects of the lemonade is there. Um, I'm not much of a fan of this one, but I mean, I'll drink it if I have to. I need, I need water. I need water now. All right, let's try this. Better. And everyone knows I like frozen drinks. Like I said, the, I've been drinking the frozen lemonade since 2012. But, yeah, I'd love to freeze those. Those would be good frozen. And I probably will try that sometime down the line. But yeah, that's, uh, that's clear American ice. I purchased that at Walmart. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. I'm guessing they, it doesn't look like it's a Sam Choice product or anything like that. Unless clear American ice, let me see if it's a Walmart product. It might be. Yeah, distributed by Walmart stores. So, yeah, Walmart stores. Probably can't really read that very well, but yeah. So, I thought I'd end on a snack, and I picked a really weird one to have with my uh, sparkling water, and that are uh, some brand new Little Debbie snacks. Um, these look really delectable, and they're called PB Richie's. To me, they look like a Choco Bliss with peanut butter inside. And yes, yes, please. They are literally that. They're peanut butter filled chocolate cakes. And there's 10 of them. They're individually wrapped. And I'm reading that right off the box like you can too. <laughs> um, let's try this, shall we? I will regret the taste combination. I really will. I already do. Um, so I open the box. Yeah, these are probably going on my carry-on on Wednesday as long as I like them. I don't see any reason I won't. But... They're, they're individual, so they kind of look like that. Those are PB Richie's. They're smaller than I thought they would be. They're like, I guess you would say they're like a, like a mini Twinkie, I guess you would say is the best way to put it. That's what they look like, the size of them, like a mini Twinkie. So let me show you what they look like when you open the package. Um, very unassuming. So, uh... And it's very messy, so let's napkin over here. Thank you. That, put that there. There you go. <laughs> messy. Good God. And I have, um, it's not like my house is hot or anything, because I'm like running the AC like 24-7. But still, this is like really messy. Well, let's see what it tastes like, though. I can smell the peanut butter inside the chocolate. That's a good sign. Let's see what we got. Here's what it looks like. See the peanut butter filling. Um, I will state right now, this doesn't look the greatest, but it tastes really good. So I guess that's a good thing. Um, sometimes that's the case. Something doesn't look good, tastes really good. 
and it's really messy. If you leave these out for like, I left them in room temperature with AC on 24 seven. But if you leave these like outside, I think probably melt in like two seconds because they're already melting now and I'm just holding them in my hands. So these are really good. If Reese's ever made like tasty cakes, okay, actually no, Reese's did make tasty cakes, but like their own brand tasty cakes, like they created them themselves. Like tasty cakes didn't make them; they made their own version of them, and they were Reese branded, not just have a Reese affiliation like the tasty cakes version do. These are the ones that are just like there. That's what these would taste like. This is really good. Peanut butter goes down smooth, not overpowering, just enough peanut butter kick for you. Yeah, definitely recommended. So, as I clean off my napkin here. Okay, so that's what we've got for this week. Mild recommendation for Clear American Ice and... Um, like, big recommendation for PB Richie's, so. I never know what the actual thumbnail picture is going to be. Sometimes it's just me drinking. Sometimes it's just me, like, making a goofy face. It could be anything. I'm trying to make product placement happen, but it doesn't really work all the time. That's the reason why you get weird thumbnails sometimes, like just me going, or something like that. But still, that's going to be the thumbnail now that I've done that. So, I just doomed myself to a weird thumbnail. So, that's what we've got for this week. And tomorrow, um, you will get a brand new Versus. Brand new Versus coming your way. Your cryptic comment is Hawks. We finally get to do that one, so that one's coming your way. And we've got a ton of Versus. Truth be told, yesterday, AJ and myself finished filming. We have filmed Versus all the way up until November. So all the Versus are covered. And for the month of September, all the reviews are covered. AJ reviewed so many films. Like, over 20 films have been reviewed on AJ's Movie Reviews of stuff that is limited, that, unfortunately, you're going to want other things that are just coming out in theaters. Like, you're going to want a Blair Witch review. You're going to watch... You're going to want a, an accountant review. You're going to want a Miss Peregrine review. But you're going to have to wait for those, unfortunately. But I'm trying to make it happen so uh, we can actually get those Dropboxed uh, somewhere down the line in October. So we'll see what happens with that. So, tomorrow's Versus and... Monday is going to be uh, Gaming with Ash. Should be getting that tomorrow night. Tomorrow is my literal last day of work. I'm super excited about it. Uh, very happy to be able to uh, start the voyage, if you will. It's going to be a very elite September and October, regardless of what the weather is. Regardless of anything, I know we're going to have a blast, and that's all that matters. So, uh, the, my birthday is obviously in a couple of weeks, too. So, yeah, that's another thing I'm really looking forward to. And a lot of great things coming with Halloween Horror Nights 26. Um, still waiting for one last correspondence, but everything else has came through uh, quite grandly, and uh, our meetups are going to be spectacular this year. So there's eight of them. If you want to RSVP for them, there's going to be a link at our Facebook fan page of Podcast Network. Follow us on Twitter at Podcast Network. Follow me on Twitter at Sir Owen Disney. And uh, we have a Zazzle store that's going to be periodically throughout the event putting out various Halloween Horror Nights 26 inspired shirts of both houses, scare zones, shows, and experiences you may encounter at Halloween Horror Nights 26. So uh, that being said, uh, Game of North Ash, like I said, returns on Monday. Monday is our final wrestling podcast until November. Ashley will be taking over a podcast. Probably going to be like a hodgepodge video you're going to get with everything that's going to be on Wednesdays. Uh, we're tentatively uh, talking about that being the day we're going to do things. And Tuesday, like I said, you can get the archive. And then Wednesday, we're gone. Employee preview, Halloween Horror Nights 26. I fly to Orlando. I check in to the Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort and begin the voyage. So, that being said, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. Stay tuned for more great sip and snacks coming while I'm in Orlando. As some stuff that I filmed while I was here and also some stuff that I filmed in Orlando to some food and wine. All sorts of various things at the various theme parks and outside the theme parks. We're going to have a great time. Mark my words. And until tomorrow, boys and girls. 
that's all I gotta say about that.